President Trump took a victory lap today just one day after his acquittal by the Senate, holding up headlines from newspapers whose subscriptions he said he would cancel and mixing shout outs to supporters and put downs of his enemies. Ben Tracy reports tonight from the White House. President Trump entered the East Room filled with his supporters and claimed victory, but also painted himself as a victim. We went through hell unfairly, did nothing wrong. He then aired three no. years worth of grievances. It was dirty cups, uh, it was leakers and liars, Russia, Russia, Russia. It was all bullshit. The president was not contrite. He did not apologize, except to his family. For having them have to go through a phony, rotten deal by some very evil and sick people. The hour-long, largely unscripted performance was a stark contrast to Bill Clinton's less than two-minute long speech after his acquittal in 1999. I want to say again to the American people, how profoundly sorry I am. Today was about presidential payback, aimed at Mr. Trump's political opponents. Adam Schiff is a vicious, horrible person. Nancy Pelosi is a horrible person. On the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue, the speaker returned the favor. He's impeached forever, no matter what he says or whatever headlines he wants to carry around. President Trump is also not hiding his contempt for Mitt Romney, the only Republican senator who voted to convict. My faith is at the heart of who I am. This morning, President Trump questioned that at the national prayer breakfast. I don't like people who use their faith as justification for doing what they know is wrong. In his speech today, President Trump also railed against the investigations into his 2016 campaign. Attorney General Bill Barr was here at the White House for that speech. He now says that any investigations into the 2020 candidates have to be approved by him. Nora. All right, Ben, thank you.